Mwenyekiti tukiendelea na taarifa zetu hazina ya kitaifa ya bima ya afya nchini NHIF imekiri kwamba wafanyakazi wake 12 walishirikiana na baadhi ya hospitali za kibinafsi kuwalaghai wa Kenya wagonjwa na kuiba fedha kupitia bima hiyo Mkurugenzi mkuu wa NHIF amesema wafanyakazi watatu wamepigwa kalamu kufuatia upelelezi huo kadhalika inaripotiwa bima hiyo upoteza takriban shilingi bilioni saba kila mwaka kupitia mbinu za ufisadi hata hivyo hospitali zilizosimamishwa kutumia bima hiyo kufuatia upekuzi wa NTV kuhusu madai ya ufisadi zimekaa na madai hayo Helen Aura na taarifa hiyo Mabadiliko yanashuhudiwa katika hazina ya bima ya afya ya NHIF yamepelekea watu watatu kupigwa kalamu kuhusiana na madai ya ufisadi akizungumza mbele ya kamati ya seneti ya masuala ya afya mkurugenzi mkuu Elijah Washira alisema hazina hiyo inaendelea na upelelezi wao There was collusion between NHIF employees and fraudsters for this fraud of this magnitude to happen and what NHIF did some of which was in the media was to take disciplinary action on a number of employees some were interdicted i think i have three who are terminated about 12 employees who went through a disciplinary process hazina hiyo imegeuzwa kuwa hazina bima ya afya ya umma kama njia moja ya kuhakikisha mpango wa afya kwa wote UHC utafikiwa Aidha hospitali zote nane zilizoathiriwa baada ya NTV kufanya taarifa ya kipekee ya upekuzi kuhusu madai ya ufisadi katika NHIF kupitia ulagai dhidi ya wagonjwa mashinani. Hospitali ya St Peter's Orthopedics and Surgical Specialty imedai NHIF haijawapo mwelekeo baada ya kukatiza bima hiyo kwa hospitali hiyo. We were being accused that we transported patient and did influence them to get uh, uh, benefits which was not medically necessary. Uh, I want to state that Kenya Medical Practitioners Board went through a number of our, our files. They actually took files for three months that we, we were requested to provide files for three months and they went with those files. And in those files they are pre, there is x-ray before surgery and there are x-rays after surgery there are ultrasound or mri before surgery and after surgery if these things were not medically necessary i think kenya medical and practitioners board would have flagged it not nhif hospitali nne zilizokuwa mbele ya kamati ya seneti zinadai nhif haina uwazi mwenyekiti wa kamati hiyo hiyo ya seneti jackson mandago vile vile ameutaka muungano wa madaktari KMPDC kufafanua jinsi hospitali hukabilishwa kutekeleza zoezi za kambi za afya. So once they have provided us the, the, the lead medical camp director, the third is to provide us with a list of all medical personnel who will be there on that camp during that day or days. Those are doctors, nurses, clinic officers, laboratory physio you know all the services they want to provide they provide us a list of those persons and their current licenses number four they provide us with the the, the uh, where the camp will be held zaidi nhif sasa inatakiwa kuweka wazi mikakati yote iliyoweka kwa sababu ya kuzuia huduma katika hospitali hizo helen aura ntv